Hello, and welcome to this brief overview of Omniverse Kit's user interface. Please note that the interface is evolving, and some of the features and functions mentioned in this video may move, be removed, or be replaced. That said, a quick UI overview at the current state has a lot of value. Okay, so let's begin now that all the disclaimers are out of the way. To start, let's go ahead and launch Omniverse Kit. When we do, we will be confronted with our first UI element, the login screen. At this screen, simply enter your username and your server address. You can choose to enable Live View and disable Cache when you start. If we choose to start in Live Mode, we must be aware that any model we touch or edit, we are live editing. For this reason, I generally leave it off. The cache can be helpful in reducing load times, but sometimes will cause issues when things are not properly updated. I generally leave cache off, but the choice is yours. Okay, so let's go ahead and sign in. Once we sign in, we will be given a small smattering of windows and panels. Let's go through them quickly. First, however, let's open a model so we have something to look at. For this walkthrough, I'll be using this robotic arm. Now, once open, we can see that in the main center window, we have our viewport. The viewport can be toggled from RTX real-time to RTX path tracing with support for other renderers as well. To navigate, use Alt plus left click to orbit. Middle mouse button to pan. And a convenient hotkey of F to focus your view. You can also hold right-click to be in WASD mode. In this mode, you can walk using W and A to move forward and back, while A and D slide you right and left. You can also fine-tune your movement speed while in this mode by using your scroll wheel. Now, let's turn our attention over to this right column here. In the upper column, you have your stage outliner. This outliner gives you a list of everything in your current USD file. Materials, meshes, and much more can be listed here and lets you easily select and adjust the properties. Moving slightly down, we have our property panels. This panel displays content based on the selected object in the outliner. In here, we can change the parameters for such things as lights, material properties, and much more. Moving down to our bottom left, we have our Explorer view. This window lets you explore files on the server, as well as bookmark important local folders you may want to have access to. Lastly, when constructing scenes and editing files, the browser can help locate and include other assets easily by simply dragging and dropping them into your scene. If we are looking to optimize the visual quality, shoot over to the Render Settings tab here by the Stage Outliner. Within it, you can find a plethora of adjustments to tweak your final shot. Moving slightly left, this tab offers an alternative outliner view, which allows you to more concisely look at your file makeup by organizing via layers. In order to manipulate selected items in your viewport, you can either use the icons on the top to control transformation, rotation, and scale, or you can use the Maya-like Q, W, and E hotkeys to switch between them. The upper menus offer you the typical save, open, copy, paste, etc. However, the one panel that is different is the Create dropdown. In here, you can create simple primitives, lights, cameras, and more. As this can be the quickest way to tinkering with a USD, it's a great place to start. The last thing I want to draw your attention to is the Live View button. At any point, you can enable or disable it, but be aware of its functionality. Everything you do when enabled will be effectively saved and is altering the file. This can be very useful and convenient when working, but do be aware that whatever you do is being committed to the file. As you can easily destroy your or other people's work by having it on, use Live View very carefully, especially when first starting out. Okay, so that about concludes this quick rundown of the UI. Hopefully you found it informative and helpful in learning your way through Omniverse Kit. 